Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman, and this is the Largely Catechized Life. You shall not commit adultery. It's the sixth commandment, and it tells us that marriage is a good thing. Um, the problem is that this is a video podcast thingamajiggy that is directed at youth, people who, you know, aren't married and uh, won't be for at least a few years in all likelihood. Um, that's a problem because Luther writes, there are some exceptions, although few, whom God has especially accepted so that they are not fit for the married estate or whom he has released by a high supernatural gift that they can maintain chastity without this estate. For where nature has its course, as is implanted by God, it is not possible to remain chaste without marriage. So, uh, chastity without marriage is a supernatural gift. Like it's up there with Spider-Man. Um, superpower stuff. And the problem is that most of us don't have that superpower. <laughs> this is, um, this is a tough one because this is just a sin that for you youth, there is not a proper outlet for it right now. And some of you might be years from marriage, trapped with sin and no real way to just ignore it or just behave or even just make it go away. So um, if you're a parent, if you're a pastor and you deal with the youth, remember just how much you are asking of these kids in the Sixth Commandment. And be prepared to deal in love and compassion and forgiveness and mercy. And if you're one of those kids and the Lord has asked you to fight just an overwhelming enemy in sin and you feel lost and unclean and condemned just for being, well, how you were born, Know that God loves sinners, and God loves you. Know that your salvation is not dependent on you having a supernatural ability to combat sin on your own, but in Christ who was crucified for you, to forgive you all of your sins. He has fought and won where we fail. He was crucified to pay for your sins on that cross, and it is finished. And then, knowing that Jesus has died for you, a sinner, fall real, real hard on the means of grace. Absolution baptism, the Lord's Supper. These things grant a peace for sinners. These things grant a peace for those of us who are trapped with sin day in and day out and know that these are not just empty words and symbols. They actually give real forgiveness. They give real identity in terms of chastity because it is God who bestows upon you something pure and holy and clean. Your identity is not limited to how you were born. Your identity is what God has made you to be. And well, he paid for it in his own blood. He gives it to you in water and in word and in bread and in wine and body and blood. Know that these things are what define you. These things call you righteous and holy so that even if you are so many years away from marriage and you don't find yet a proper outlet for this one, know that God will not forsake you until then, but he will guide you and hold you and forgive you day in and day out until you can finally know this blessed estate. Higher Things thanks you for your support. Please continue to support the work we do with youth by going to our website at higherthings.org clicking on support, and donating securely through PayPal. Your gift helps us in our mission to support pastors, youth workers, and parents in daring our church's youth to be Lutheran.